Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> it is actually 12.01. I have a question with regard to your biscuits. Certainly. I baked them myself this morning. I'm allergic to nuts. Are there any nuts in the biscuits? No, just butter, flour, sugar and water. Could any nuts have got into the biscuit mix? No. I mean, had you been handling any nuts before you made the biscuits? No. In fact, my husband passed away last year. <laughs> Terrible nuts. Uh, uh, not today, no. Did anyone walk past the shop today holding a bag of nuts? <laughs> not that I recall, and I'm really not sure how that would affect the biscuits. An owl or similar winged creature could have swooped down, seized the nut from your passing bag, flown it into your preparation area and dropped it in the biscuit mixture. I mean, did you think about that? No, but I think I would have noticed an owl. <laughs> OK, I'll buy half a biscuit. We don't sell them in halves. I suppose I'll have to take a whole one. OK. Lovely. Uh, can, can you just... Uh, just try a little. You want me to take a bite? Yes, please. Not yet 100% satisfied that they are nut-free. No, I can't taste any. Keep, keep going, keep... Oh, I can't taste it. You're not swallowing it properly. I am. No, you're not. You're storing it in your cheeks. Like a lying squirrel. <laughs> Just... Finish it off for me, please. Thank you. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, mm. <laughs> thank you. So, would you like to buy a biscuit? Uh, no, thank you. After all that, I'm completely full. <laughs> <laughs> Item number four. The repairs needed to fix the gut ring on the roof of the church hall. Now, the caretaker's been up. i uh, look at this. And the estimated cost of these repairs is going to be in the region of £65. Oh. Thank you, Bill. Now, does anyone have any ideas of how we can raise the funds to cover these costs? What about a jumble sale? Bit old hat. How about a benefit concert in the Scout Hat starring Lady Gaga? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a great idea. Now, does anyone know a phone number for this... Mrs. Gaga. Uh, Ted, you can look it up in the phone directory, see if she's listed, you know. What would she be under? Um, Gaga. Gaga. Of course, if we can't get Lady Gaga, there is always that Beyonce Knowles. We could ask her to sing some of her hit songs, then she could reform Destiny's Child, and then maybe bake a cake, which we could all raffle. <laughs> I think we're aiming a bit low. I mean, why are we wasting our time with this Beyonce Knowles character? I propose we go for JT himself, Justin Timberlake. We could have Timberland provide the beats, and Madonna could come on and they could sing their song four minutes. Well, if Madonna's only going to do the one song, she could help me out on the hot dog stand. You know, she could fry the onions. <laughs> Yes, but whoever we get to sing, whether it's Beyonce, Timberlake, Madonna, 50 Cent, Lil Wayne, Snoop, we need someone to introduce them. How about that Nelson Mandela? <laughs> Too old. Horrible shirts. Oh. Hey. Now, is the Pope famous enough? Mm. <laughs> President Obama? Yes, it's a splendid idea. So, yeah. present a barber to host, and first choice to sing, Lady Gaga. Um, what if she's booked up? Hang on a minute. Did I never mention that my nephew is the controversial rapper, Eminem? <laughs> no, I don't think you did. Let me give him a bell. See if he can help. Hello, Eminem. <coughs> your Uncle Bill here. <coughs> How's your controversial rapping going? <laughs> Good. Now, look, we're organising a charity concert and we need a really big star. So have you got a number for JZ? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs>